CapCut is now inside ChatGPT, which means you can now create custom videos for anything you want right in ChatGPT. Here's a tutorial of how to do it. Step one, of course, is to go to chatgpt.com and make sure that you're logged in. Now, where you're gonna find CapCut is navigating over on the left-hand side here, you're gonna click on Explore GPTs. This is gonna open up the entire ChatGPT store for you. Now, there are a lot of really cool tools in here by different categories. They have the featured area, trending topics, writing area, productivity, research analysis, education, lifestyle, programming, everything you can think think of there is a third party tool that's connected built into ChatGPT. And so what you want to do here to find CapCut is just start by typing that in. Now it's going to show you all of these different options here. You want to make sure that you're clicking on CapCut Video GPT. It's actually by CapCut. Now these other ones are from third party people. It's not necessarily a trusted source. This is actually the one created by official ChatGPT. So click on that one. It's going to show you this little overview here, review and whatnot, then you just need to do click start chat. And now you're going to be loaded into the CapCut custom GPT. It shows you a couple suggestions here, like generate a video about Olympic games and 16 by nine aspect ratio, make a poster celebrating the new year, make a YouTube video on the topic of specialty coffee, recommend some popular TikTok videos. You can click any of those, or you can type in something custom for whatever you want to create videos on. So for example, I could type in something like generate a three minute video about the 2024 United States presidential election, 16 by nine aspect ratio. Once you type that in, it's going to start to generate that overview and script here. And sometimes this does happen where this view AI video result URL doesn't work. If you happen to ha uh, say that, you can just put follow up prompt like the link did not work and it should reprompt you with a link to the CapCut video. If this pops up here, CapCut Video GPT wants to talk to CapCut, just click on allow and it'll regenerate that link, that clickable link for you. And so all you need to do is click on this link. It's going to load that project over into CapCut for you. And you'll see the loading area down here at the bottom. This is going to take a couple of minutes to actually generate. And as soon as it's done, it's going to load it right into the video editor here. So you can see it has the entire script and the sub titles, it has voiceover, and it has background music. And so in this instance, it looks like it didn't add any images or video b-roll there. You can just easily navigate over to media area, and you can drag in any of your own clips, and then you can export that right from there. Now, while this custom GPT for CapCut still needs work, this is a potentially really time-saving solution for you. If you're already using ChatGPT in your everyday work case, you're using it to repurpose content or develop content ideas, you can then load all of those ideas into the CapCut GPT and then start to create videos as a part of your workflow. Let me know in the comments though what you think about this tool in particular. Does this add value to you? Is it more work than is necessary? Let me know. And if you want more custom tutorials like this, click on this video right here. I just created a demo on how to use Canva inside of ChatGPT as well. As always, I hope these videos helpful.